Hello and welcome to the Stephen Mendes channel. In addition to dealing with analog modular synthesizers as well as modern digital synthesizers and covering a lot of electronic theory, I'm anxious to get my practical users building electronic circuits. And I thought I would introduce you tonight to this board which you can easily buy. It's quite inexpensive. You should be able to get it on Amazon. It's a Global Specialties Digital Logic Trainer. As you can see, it has a small breadboard on which we can build our circuits using the popular digital uh, ICs. In addition to that, what it, the advantage of using this board over a plain uh, breadboard, powered breadboard, is that in addition to provide, providing the power, we have eight logic switches here, which will conveniently switch five volts. We have two pulsar buttons, which can provide clock pulses, manual clock pulses, which are properly debunked using a monostable multivibrator to avoid multiple triggers. And then we have an oscillator which can work at three different frequencies, one hertz, one kilohertz, or a hundred kilohertz. Well, we mostly use the one hertz so that our users can see what we're actually doing. Then we have five, eight, sorry, eight output LEDs here which are, will receive your output from your digital logic. And we have two uh, seven segment uh, readouts here which you can wire up. All the wiring is made conveniently on these three strips and we have power. If you're trying to run CMOS logic as well as your TTL logic, we have a possibility to put in either TTL 5 volts or 8, sorry, 12 volts positive for your logic. Now there's a corresponding board which you can use for analog which has minus 15 and plus 15 volt rails and we're going to show you that in another video but we just wanted to introduce you to this particular board which we're going to be using with our digital experiments we want to actually build some circuits for you which we have um, done theory so we will reference the theoretical videos when we actually build the circuits of course we have powered breadboard as well which we can use for conventional transistor projects but if you're interested in doing digital logic projects you can't go better than these boards we've been using them for quite a few years at the university now and um, they're fairly rugged they have short circuit protection so even the students wiring them up if they wire, wire the power supply short uh, you just turn it off pull out the plug, plug it in again and it resets once the short is removed. So they're pretty pretty rugged and sturdy even though they may not look that way in their plastic case and we strongly urge you to get one so that you will have joy and success when building your digital logic circuits. So thanks for watching and we're hoping to bring you some projects very soon that you can build. See you in the next video.